be a celebration. Yes. We're lucky to be here. We're, we, we should be we, happy to be here. We cannot be, be lucky no, because right. if we weren't right. here, we, were, we wouldn't be. That's That's no such right. Thing. Okay, Absolutely. so it's not a crap game I mean, that we're exactly. here. We are here and, and we should celebrate it, use it, enjoy it, be selfish. The, right. There's a virtue in selfishness. Right. And we got ourselves in trouble when we started using government to force us to be good because we had this notion that we had a, a sort of bad nature. Right. And if we have a bad nature, we have no self-esteem. If we have no self-esteem, any demagogue can have us. He can uh, order us about because we wouldn't consider ourselves valuable enough yeah. to, to be free. You would be anxious to follow anyone because you don't trust yourself. Right. So that self-esteem is a precondition of freedom. All right. All right, so you're obviously against forced government anything. Busing, right? Oh, certainly. You're against taxes, forced taxation? Uh, that would be the last reform that I would advocate. But you don't really think it's going to be possible to have a community of men without forced man mandated taxes? No, I, I wrote, it, and it, I won't go into details, about an alternative, which would be voluntary taxation. Voluntary contributions to the government, because we need you the government. Do you know why they're going, oh, 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 because they don't think any, see, it won't work? Oh, not if, they, if you had to contribute 90% or even 50% of your income. That wouldn't work. But the government doesn't cost that much. The government's proper function is only to protect your rights. And that means to protect men from those who initiate force. So the government protects uh, the peace, internal peace. That means the policemen. Uh, the government runs the army and navy, protection from outside forces, yeah. and law courts, so that citizens who disagree can settle their disputes peace peacefully. That's the only functions of government. All right. So you like an individual who stands up, man or woman, does what he, she wants to do. You have literally liberated right. millions of people around the world by merely saying to them in your novels, you want to do it? Do it. That's, that's exactly That's true. And I, if I help them, I'm delighted. But I didn't Original start. Sin sure takes a beating in your writings, doesn't it? Oh, it does, yes. Yeah. You Listen. don't think that we're, we're born with sin on ourselves? Do you? Huh? No, I have never met a person who really could believe that. Well, but see, Can if you, you fool around it? with Original Sin, there goes the whole idea of Christianity. If there is no original, oh, wait a minute. If there's no original sin, then why do we need Calvary? Why do we need the crucifixion? From what are we redeemed? Well, but that, that is the most important thing. Look at If you take Jesus Christ as an ideal human being, yeah. and that is properly the view of Christians, what do you do with your ideal being? You put him on the cross. You torture him murder. and murder him for the sake of those who are less virtuous. Is that a proper example to set? For the sake of those who are less virtuous. Yeah, for the sinners, to redeem their sins, oh, yeah, as yeah. you say. Uh -huh. I think that's a monstrous idea. If I were a Christian, I would resent it enormously. The ideal men are to be appreciated and followed. And listened to. And listened to, but, not crucified. But our evil nature makes us rebel against those who would bring us. Oh, that's a nice excuse, you know. If you commit a murder and then say, but I'm evil by nature, I couldn't help the it. The devil made me do it. Yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, my philosophy includes free will. It does. That you have the choice. Only free will consists of your capacity to think or not. Okay. If you think, you made the right choice. If you evade, that's the mortal sin according to my philosophy. You were born in Russia, were you, yes. Leningrad, what is now Leningrad. Yeah. You graduated from the University of Leningrad. That's right. You recently celebrated your 50th wedding anniversary to That's the right. same man. That's right. <laughs> we're in New York City with Ayn Rand, and we'll be back in just a moment. This is the felt form of the Madison Square Garden. That is Ayn Rand, the philosopher who's created such a stir everywhere with books which incidentally sell in numbers equaling approaching 8,000 per month. Per month, even today. Yes. 
Um, Miss Rand, in your novels, you portray very strong women. I was wondering why you think uh, in the world we don't have strong women leaders. Because if you're speaking about women's liberation, that whole movement, uh, it's a very false and phony issue. Women are human beings, so they need uh, leaders just like men in certain professions. If they, in their own profession, they don't need leaders. But let's say in politics, they need leaders who are men or women as the leaders have earned. There is no such thing as specifically a leader of women. But Just as it would be ridiculous to say uh, you have leaders of only men. Well, but the point is that women feel because of the uh, cultural inhibitors that have been that have been placed on women some sort of women woman leadership is needed to compensate and to break those barriers and to make good all the re all the grievances of the past you can do it only by education if women feel that there is prejudice against them yes. you do it by spreading the right idea that women intellectually are not the inferior of men. Of course not, but Physically, you, they certainly that's are. That's what feminists are doing. They're standing up and educating. No, they, they're asking for government power and government handout. They go around depriving men of jobs because you have to have quota of so many women. But, but their point is that they have been denied jobs all these years, so you, let's get at it and start swinging for it fight an evil if they think they're victims. I don't, but uh, let us say, assuming that women have been treated unfairly, you don't fight an evil by adopting it and practicing well, it. Well, what should they do? Be nice little girls and not say anything and stay home and break bread? No. Uh, well, what should they do? Should Go they? into any career of their choice except longshoremen or professional football player as they're trying today <laughs> and fight for their career as every man has to fight. Would you fight for anything? How did I get here? Yeah. I'm disappointed though that here we have all these, all this, uh, you don't deny that there have been grievances. You don't deny sexism. You don't deny prejudice against women. I deny all that except unequal wages. There have been You're telling me you think jobs. women have had the same opportunities, that they haven't been given blinders by a culture that said they should be a nurse instead of a doctor? No. That they should be uh, long-suffering and nurturing instead of a composer? Not in this country. If you're talking about Europe, it might be different. Here, okay. you can get anything regard regardless of your sex because you, all you have to do is show your ability and if someone is prejudiced and doesn't hire you, the intelligent employer will. Over here. Over here. I want to change the topic and go back to something you said about industry. Fifteen years ago, I was impressed with your books, and I sort of felt that your philosophy was proper. Today, however, I'm more educated, and I find that if a company... This is what I don't answer. Well, wait I'll a minute. You haven't heard the question yet. Well, She's look. already estimated her position my, and my work, incidentally, displaying the quality of her brain. If she says today she is more educated... I am more educated what? now than I was 15 years ago when I was in high school, Since, before uh, I went to college, well, I'm not interested in your biography. Let her, well, let her make context. her point. Let her make her point. Let her make her point. It's, very, it's very basic. If a company is permitted to do what it wants to do, like ITT, you wind up with ITT in Nazi Germany doing whatever it damn well please, and any other company in the United States doing the same thing. Conglomerates are not monopolies. They can do whatever they want. ITT owns everything from baking companies to telephone companies to munitions plants. I mean, I really think that's wrong. And I really well, think that they Ms. start... Rand is, Ms. Rand thinks it's wrong too, but she's saying that it's not government force that's going to correct the problem. I don't think government force is going to correct the problem either, but... Right, but she's she saying that if we back away and just let this invisible hand uh, the t work and competition and free enterprise happen according to its own inclinations, we're not going to have abuse, and, and abuse and evil will fall of its own weight. I don't believe that. 